Right, hello third grade, happy Thursday. Today we're going to be again retelling our Bible lesson from yesterday, which was Peter and John are arrested from Acts chapter 4 verses 1 to 31. So we're going to go through it with just some pictures to describe what we talked about yesterday. So when Peter told a man who was over 40 years old and who had been not able to walk since birth to get up and walk in the name of Jesus Christ, the man, remember, he entered the temple courtyard leaping and praising God. He was jumping and walking. And remember, crowds gathered amazed at this miracle. They were all confused and a little puzzled because this man that they've known has never been able to walk. Peter told them that this man had been healed in the name of Jesus and reminded them that they had hand over Jesus. They had handed Jesus over to be crucified. But then he also reminded them how Jesus was, had risen from the dead. And then Peter urged them to turn back to God and repent for their sins. But then the captain of the temple guard, the priest, they were alarmed to hear Peter preaching that Jesus was alive. They seized Peter and John and put them in prison. However, so many people were convinced Jesus had risen from the dead that the number of believers grew to over 5,000. The next morning, Peter and John were brought before the high priest and the elders and the teachers of the law. And they said to them, by what power, by what power or what name did you do this? They demanded to know. So they want to know how was this man healed? Peter, full of the Holy Spirit, replied, It is in the name of Jesus, who you crucified, but God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you and healed. So he, Peter saying, It wasn't me that healed him. It was Jesus and God. And Peter continued, Salvation can only be in the name of Jesus. There is no other name with the power to save people from their sins. Those listening were astonished at the courage of Peter and John. As the healed man was standing before them, they were lost for words. So they ushered Peter and John out while they discussed what to do. What can we do, they asked. Everyone has seen them perform this miracle, so we cannot deny it. We must stop them speaking about Jesus and doing things in his name. So they want Peter and John to stop talking about Jesus. Peter and John were brought back in and commanded not to teach in the name of Jesus. They replied, Peter and John replied, which is right in God's eyes, to obey you or to, or to obey God. And remember, obeying God was the most important, was right in God's eyes. As for us, Peter announced, we are going to continue telling others what we have seen and heard. The temple leaders issued further threats not to speak about Jesus. However, they could not punish Peter and John because the people were praising God for what had happened. Peter and John returned to the believers and reported, and reported what the chief of priests and elders had told them. The believers responded by their voices, by raising their voices in prayer, telling God about the threats that had been made against them. They prayed for boldness to continue, telling others about Jesus and do miracles in his name. When they finished praying, the building they were in shook. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking bravely about Jesus to everyone. All right, so at the end, when they're all praying, what were the believers asking God to do? What were they praying about? Remember, they were praying so that they were to make them brave and strong to keep telling other people about Jesus and to do more miracles in Jesus' name. So they wanted to be able to be bold and courageous and preaching about God's word. So, and they also were praying about miracles, do more miracles in God's name. How would miracles in Jesus' name help the disciples preach about him? So how are the miracles going to help? Well, when, we, when they would see miracles, it would show that the disciples' message really was from God. 
So the miracles help show the people that this is happening through God. So we know that they really are preaching the truth. And then when they at that when Peter and John were talking to the elders, how did they confess Jesus? How did Peter and John confess Jesus? Remember, they confessed boldly and courageously. And they were thrown into jail and they were told, commanded not to speak about Jesus anymore. But they confessed Jesus and they weren't afraid. They confessed him boldly and courageously. So thinking about that, what does God want us also to do, you and me? He wants us to confess Jesus to others and to do it boldly and courageously. So we trust that the Holy Spirit will help us confess Jesus boldly and we're going to end today by praying together dear holy spirit we want to confess jesus to others come into our hearts so that we can talk about jesus boldly we trust you are with us amen all right happy thursday and i will see you tomorrow bye third grade